and gentlemen, welcome to the ring, Norbert Palazzo! Well, Norbert Palusco, a man who represented Hungary at the 2008 Olympics, is one of five Hungarians at the Games. Good amateur pedigree. Should be quite an experienced contest then. And now make some noise for Galassius Taru! Well, a good start to his pro career, Galassius Taru. Two fights for two. Two wins from two fights, should I say, for 23 year old featherweight from Reading. Born in Nigeria. And if his first two contests are anything to go by, he's a bit of a puncher as well. He has quite KO. a bit of a reputation. A KO and a TKO. Pretty rare to see stoppages at featherweight as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Always good because you definitely get a high volume of punches. So to get to see stoppages as well is always a treat. Problems with the uh, the entrance music kit. Don't think this is part of it. Doesn't look too phased though. It's nice and relaxed. That making his way to the ring. A little skip in the cassette player, perhaps. Sometimes the music isn't really for the fighter. It's just for the crowd. So he seems like he's uh, he's in his zone anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, always the boxing in association with Warrior Promotion presents four three-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Firstly, introducing in the blue corner, he weighed in at nine stone four pounds. This is his 18th fight tonight, wearing the red and white trunks from Budapest, Norbert Palazzo. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner. He weighed him at nine pounds. Two, nine stone, two ounces. He has a perfect unbeaten record of two fights, two wins. Both by the way of KO. Wearing the blue, red and green trunks. From Reading, Galassius Taru! The referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Galassius definitely looks confident. A real puncher at the weight if his first two fights are anything to go by, but he's up against a well-schooled amateur, former Olympian, Norbert Kaluza, in the blue corner wearing the red shorts. He's actually dressed in the same tyre that the, the British Lionhearts fight in. <laughs> Red Adidas shorts, and actually they do fight their home um, matches here at your call. I think you might have borrowed those shorts. Because straight away you see a nice wide stance from Gracias. Shapes up really nicely, considerable hand speed. Almost got the makings of uh, a really top-level amateur bout, this. True. Got the speed. See the tattoo on his left arm there, Beijing 2008. Amazing to think of nearly 10 years ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. Remember Usain Bolt breaking that 100-meter world record at the games, running across the line with his hands out by his sides, and all well, that just seems uh, a distant memory ago, but also seems like it was just Yesterday, a few weeks yeah, back. Yeah, well, definitely. One of five Hungarians at the games, and incidentally, his compatriot, at light heavyweight, lost out to Britain's Tony Jeffries on a medal. Turned over, was unbeaten as a pro in 11, but then had to retire with hand injuries. Now lives out his days in. Santa Monica runs a couple of gyms out there and already 
the reputation of Janassi's Taru has preceded him as a body hook. Hook to the body, just puts down Norbert Kaluska and he looks to be in a bit of trouble so far. Standing to the hook to the body there. Standing up to his feet, the referee administers the eight count and Taru is going to try and put it on him and get him out of here early. Just mills with the right hand, trying to distract the eye line, throws the left hook to the body again. Doesn't want to rush his work too much though. Well, three stoppages from three potentially at featherweight. That's pretty unheard of. Yeah, so he needs to go back to that jab again and just see if he can find, get him to open up that body. Yeah, I think the window of opportunity has perhaps just briefly passed him by. And as you say, it's now his job to calmly and carefully manufacture another one. Because he's in there against a very experienced fighter. Much taller ranger of the two, isn't he? Yeah. He's huge in there. And his opponent has quite a short reach. Very small arms, as you say, just... Uh, Completely different stature of opponent. Tyru looks like he could be a weight division or two above, in That's fact. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, stiff Ooh, bundle shot to the body. And <laughs> tell you what, uh, talk about the delayed effect of a body shot. That was, so. And that's the thing with body shots. If they don't catch you that round, they'll catch you two rounds later. <laughs> well, Kalisa tried to weather it, and it, I think Saved by the Bell is uh, pretty much what we've just seen. See, what he did wrong there, he went on a little jog. <laughs> when you go on a little jog after taking a shot like that, Oh man, <laughs> you're not going to last very long. Well, you do sometimes see it, don't you? The shot lands, and it's as, as if there's sort of a 10 second delay sometimes for when it hits you. But uh, well, certainly an emphatic opener for Galastius Taru. I wonder who's choosing this music. I need to borrow their jukebox. <laughs> Round number two of a schedule four here at the nine stone two pound limit. And well, if uh, the first round was anything to go by, I will be surprised, as I'm sure you will, Joshua, if this one does go the distance. Lutzka trying to faint with the feet, lands a nice stiff jab from the outside. Taru cutting off the ring well, and uh, he cuts off the ring very well, actually. But again, that long left hook to the body crashes in with increased force and fervor. As again, Kalusa holds on, gives himself a bit of extra time. One of those old pro tactics, making a referee have to work pretty hard today. Taru's just uh, got the look of a man that feels pretty in control and is in no rush. Very confident and the fact that he's very patient makes him very dangerous. I think in stark contrast, Norbert Kalusa will know that actually at any moment he could get caught with something that could really hurt him. And uh, it's just giving his body language and posture an air of tentativity. Nice right hand from him though. Seems trouble that. Uh, Taru. Taru needs to not let complacency creep in here. Had a really good opening round and just needs to reassert that sort of dominance. And he needs to keep that range again, keep it out and, what, and let and them slowly work himself in. Don't jump in there straight away, which is working to his opponent's favour. To the contest, he could keep long behind the jab all night long, but as you say, no need to start getting involved in these inside scrappy exchanges, even if he is comfortable with the power. And 
Kulu's allowance the left of the body, misses to the head. Working away on the inside. Taru just inching the feet into range. Trying to measure that punching distance with the feet. Nice stiff That's right hand. Shot. And then the uppercut behind it, two really clean crisp shots. Best of the, the round. The lead hand uppercut is very skilled, a very skilled punch. A little short with the right hand that time, though. Nice uh, couple of just peppery light shots to set that right hand up as the disorientated opponent, which is good. Obviously, that used by uh, Vasil Lomachenko. Yeah. Uses those two, three light shots to just, as you say, keep the eye line occupied, disorientate the opponent, and bang, the, the real shot comes in, the one that was planned all along. And that shows a lot of skill to be able to play with a rhythm like that, to be able to mix the light shots with the hard shots. Really disorientates your opponent. And if he really puts his foot on the gas, he could probably get his man out of there, but he's just uh, maybe in his own will and leisure, taking his time here. Well, Kaluska definitely did well making it through that last round. So will Taru just step on the gas, try and maintain that 100% knockout record. He's got a nice high guard, which is good. One of Taru's problems is he just hasn't got the pop to keep. Bless yourself, isn't it? Nowhere. That's definitely. right. In fact, what he doesn't want to do is exchange like that. He just wants to just move around and pop his jab out a little bit and run away. One shots like that, hit and run. That's what he needs to do. Any exchanges is exactly what Glacius wants, which is quite rare for some for Glacius being the taller of the opponent. So again, Kaluska winging away, but Taru just content to cover up, let his man throw three or four shots to the arms and to the gloves. He's got to take the initiative when they're on the outside, though. He's just slightly smothering his own work occasionally when he comes in off that jab. He knows that Kaluska's imperative is to try and hold if he gets too close, and he really wants to try and keep that jab a little longer. See there, there just go, as he yeah. steps in. Yeah. He was throwing some of those hooks to the body really nice and long in, in the first round. Just feel if he can get back to the distance, timing, and range that he showed in the opening three minutes could be a real danger, but it's just slightly lost his way. Not to say he's not in control, he certainly is, but I think he needs to go back to that jab again and just wait for the openings. Right now, he's trying to create too many openings. That was a good, good uppercut there. That was a little better from Taru. He's just, just finding that middle range where he can let the body shots go and the headshots without being caught on the inside. Again, it's good, uh, good lateral movement around the outside from Kalusa because he's actually doing the one thing that very he, smart he needs to, just keeping his man offset, not letting him hold his feet so he can throw those big power shots. And then the referee wasn't liking that though. No, he wasn't. And uh, well, we don't see too much of that because it makes for a bit of a boring encounter. And that's exactly what Taru can do at a moment's notice. And we said moments ago that actually, at any point, if he turns up the heat, you just get the impression that he can have his man in real trouble. And there it is. And it's those body shots. <laughs> you can see the experience there. Trying every trick in the book, although that body hit really hurt him. And, well, he looks to his corner to say I'm okay, but I think his his posture and body language said something a little bit different there when that left hook came crashing in, and he'd been put down with it twice before. No need to really go on. I think it was yeah. one-way traffic, and I don't think he was in any of course real. But as you said before, these guys don't want to be stopped because it's the 28-day rule. But do you know what? You've got to think about the health of your of the fighter rather than. Um, the progression of his career in fighting but definitely good for stopping that and taking way too much punishment and uh, whatever your view on it Jassius Taru has indeed extended that 100% knockout ratio into his third unbeaten contest 23 year old featherweight from Reading marches on and I'm sure we'll see him again Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, who we show your appreciation for both writers. I'm over the moon because that guy's actually got a winning record and like you said he give a lot of really top top boys a lot of trouble and Glasses just took him out like in pure class so I'm, I'm over the moon. Right? You said to me yesterday you made mistakes in your last fight, did you feel like you made any in there? Nah I just listened to my coach just say work the body if you, and then after that he starts like, work him to the top of the head because he's now sussing out the body shot. So that's what I did, I, I took his advice. Yeah, and he came. Him up. it was great. I mean, yeah. when he went down from that first shot, I don't know if you could see it, he looked at his corner and he was yeah, just looking at his yeah. eyes like, oh no, I'm in trouble here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was only going one way from there. And you've got a fancy new kit as well. Yeah, I know, speaking <laughs> to my sponsor, Tyler Preston now, <laughs> and General Entertainment, they bought a kit for me. Looking very good. Yeah. Three bites, three knockouts. Keep it going, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Cheers. Cheers.